Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a clip art clean out or clean up video on something that's pretty difficult, and that's why I'm making a video. Somebody emailed me or sent me a, a message off one of my videos, and they also posted this file on Facebook. And I was kind of waiting for them to send me the file. I was thinking it was already a Corel file, but they posted this JPEG, and it's it's pretty bad. I would almost if I was new to Corel, I would almost start with a new fish. But it's not that difficult. I normally trace everything with clip art. And because this is such a low quality, I went to trace bitmap, outline trace, low quality. And I ended up, and then also I end up uh, increasing the detail. He wants to cut this out. I'm not going to do the whole fish. But I thought I'd show him how to do it. Uh, there's some broken jagged lines uh, and it is going to be your fish after you're done so everything doesn't have to be perfect but this won't this will not cut out and look like a fish because it'll go around each one of these fins because they're not connected uh, it would engrave okay right now so I thought I'd just clean up a couple of things one I would start with his eye and maybe make his eye a little more symmetrical so what you have to do after you get your clip art is to go to a range and ungroup it then grab your shape tool and I'd possibly just start deleting nodes to see if you can't get a more round and you can see there's actually another set of lines in there uh, but for right now we're not going to worry about those and a lot of times if you're going to do this I would just take all these and just delete them and get your eclipse tool and just draw an eclipse and fill it in and take away the hairline and have more of a natural eye uh, his snout is a little funny looking, so just go up there and remove a few nodes, you know, possibly like that. But here's the main concern is is these little bits and pieces of his, I guess his scales. And this is, if I was going to do it, I'd take these nodes and, and just whack them away. Uh, possibly take these nodes and whack them away, delete them. I'm just hitting delete. I would maybe add a node right there and then bring it up to here and then take this node and bring it up to there, making this more of a solid, complete line. And you could play around with this for quite some time, trying to get away from all the black. And, um, you know, it's a fish, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, anytime you do both sides, you're going to get a, you know, effect like that. I didn't mean to get those top ones, but um, you could do that. And then you could take this node and you know bring this up well I can click I selected two nodes you know select right in the middle and just kind of bring this node up these are evidently lines so let's let's take them all and let's turn them to curves I just uh, click my mouse button turn everything to a curve and then you can get this little more of a bow shape but here's the main problem with this fish is this right here this is not going to cut out there are several ways you could do it, and I might have to break this video up into two parts. And uh, you take your shape tool, and I would just bring that to there. You know, bring bring these two nodes up to here. You know, trying to close these gaps. Um, you could have that fin short, but let's just do this. And I'm going to show you a particular problem. I want to grab both those nodes, and I'm going to bring them all the way over there. Now, you can see some white uh, spaces is because where the lines are overlapping so if I was going to do this particular fish I would maybe take that node that you know down and like I said I'm not going to do the whole fish but where these nodes cross you could do one of two things try to get them a little bit closer try to put one on top of the other you're still going to get this if if this is um, something that is crossed you could take your smart fill tool and fill that in and then that will engrave solid same thing on that so now what has happened i've created an outside shape where we could cut this out with the exception there's one more break in this and before we go to that break i would clean up these fins here and this is real easy you know just take away some of these nodes and make it uh, look a little more natural there's one node probably we don't need at all let me zoom in here take that node and just 
bring it down you know make it look a little bit more natural maybe and um, grab that node line and just bring it down maybe delete these two nodes anyway here's the and I would also clean up that that tail a little bit you know especially like right there uh, take that node and just move it over because what is evidently happening, he's got another set of um, lines there, or the he doesn't, but the picture does. And um, so now we're going to clean up one more break, and it's right here in this fin. If you use the boundary tool, the boundary tool is going to go inside here. So take your, let's zoom in here a little bit. Take your shape. He actually asked me to do this on 17 and. 17 is on my um, laptop and it's kind of hard to make a video and if you're listening uh, the buttons are really all in the same place um, as a matter of fact Corel might act, Corel 17 might even actually trace this a little bit better you know maybe take away a few of those notes so now we think we have an outside surface where nothing's going to break and then just select it all and go up to your boundary tool and hit boundary tool. Now I've got my nudge factor set pretty high and you can just double check it. That will cut out. There's your cut line. And then what I would do for sure is make sure there's no hairlines in here. And to make double sure, I would left click and there's the feel. There's your, your cut lines. But we're going to take those away and we're not going to have any. And a lot of times that'll happen, it'll fill in. So we want to get it back to exactly the way it was. Now, if you use your nudge key right, it'll put it right back. Let's bring in our box now. There's probably still, still white. And as you can see, there's still some white background. And you need to delete those background. The eye might be a little bit of a problem. We're going to take our pick tool and just pick that inside that white. We might have to break it apart because I'm actually getting the you know, I'm getting the outline so don't ever move the outline away let's move the let's make it 20 inch and let's so now we got our outline out of the way now just take your pick tool and get inside that white and delete it get inside these white lines and just delete them because they will engrave just a little bit uh, we're gonna try that I yep it worked now you can bring the fish right back. Nothing's changed. Now, in this particular case, I would actually draw a contour line around that. I wouldn't have it cut so close. So go up to Effects, Contour, and let's contour to the outside just like uh, 1. 0, 0, 0.09. Let's just pick 9. And you've got a very little contour. Break contour apart. Go up to effects or range, break to contour apart. And this is where you want to make sure you get the black, and that's why I contour in black. So we you can delete the red. Now we can change this to red. I left click or right click my mouse, then put it right back. So now you have a a little bit of cut line around this fish now you could see where you could actually clean up the cut lines um, you know that doesn't look real good so you can actually delete that and and go around and just kind of look at your fish and um, anyway so if the person I'm doing the video for if that helped me let me know if it didn't if I didn't, maybe I understood misunderstood the question and I would actually take that line away I would maybe convert these to curves it are they already are curves click on them with the shape tool and then just kind of reshape that a little bit anyway that'll work uh, I would go through there and, and clean the fish up quite a bit more uh, you know that's not half bad it's a fish anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching